When you look for a smartphone under rupees 8000, what are the key features that you look out for? Good build quality, bright and color rich display, a long lasting battery that can be charged quickly, and a good set of cameras, right? Well, we might have an option for you. The all new Infinix Smart 8 comes equipped with a 5000 mAh battery, a 6.6 inch 90 hertz display, and a 50 megapixel primary camera. But is it any good? Hey everyone, my name is Ashan. This is Gadgets 360, and in this video, we'll be sharing our first impressions for the newly launched Infinix Smart 8. So let's get started. We tried the Infinix Smart 7 last year, and it was a decent device from what we learned. It had a good battery life, decent camera performance, and an above-average display. For 2024, Infinix has launched their Infinix Smart 8 in India, and we got to try the device for some time. The Infinix Smart 8 comes equipped with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of onboard storage that can further be expanded with a micro SD slot, and is priced at rupees 7,499 in India. The smartphone can be bought in four color options: Galaxy White, Timber Black, Shiny Gold, and Rainbow Blue, which we got to try. I like this variant and the subtle color looks pleasing to the eyes. The design language is quite different from the Smart 7 that launched last year, and we have a matte finished shiny back panel instead of the textured one. It sports flattened sides that are matte finished and are color coordinated. The smartphone has the power key that also houses the side mounted fingerprint sensor, the volume buttons on the right, and the SIM slot on the left. With the USB Type C charging port, speaker grill, 3.5 mm headphone jack. and microphone at the bottom the smartphone feels heavy at 184 grams and is on the thicker side at 8.5 mm of depth the smartphone comes equipped with a 6.6 inch hd plus ips lcd display with a 90 hertz refresh rate and a peak brightness of 500 nits The display itself is fine with colors, sharpness and contrasts, but struggles in direct sunlight and the viewing angles are not great. One cannot see anything properly from an angle other than straight on the display. Infinix Smart 8 sports a dual rear camera that includes the primary 50 megapixel camera and another AI camera. The camera system is fine for daylight shots. It manages to produce sharp images after taking a second to load them after you've shot them. The 2x digital zoom isn't very useful. The images are way too soft to be used as the primary shot. Low light performance isn't great either. The smartphone can only take sharp night mode images if the smartphone is either on a tripod or is stationary. Else you'll be looking at very blurry images. The front camera is the same story. It takes good images in broad daylight but produces very noisy images in not so ideal situations. On the video front, the smartphone can show 1080p 30 fps videos from the rear camera that have decent details but lack dynamic range. The lack of any stabilization is visible prominently and the videos are very shaky when you're on the go. The front camera too can shoot videos at up to 1080p 30 fps which is a plus and the quality is somehow better than the rear camera which is surprising. It uses the Unisoc T606 SoC that is efficient for light usage like scrolling through websites using light social media apps and playing casual games that aren't very CPU hungry. It runs on Infinix's XOS 13, which is based on Android 13, and is loaded with a lot of bloatware, which is a downside of this smartphone. The Infinix Smart 8 is a fairly decent smartphone under rupees 8000, with good primary camera performance in daylight 
and the ability to run basic apps that aren't heavy on the CPU pretty well but lacks 5G support. You can buy it if you already have a primary device for your CPU intensive tasks and need a secondary device or just want to go on a social media detox for a while as this one will lag while you scroll through Instagram Reels for a while. Do let us know what you think of the Infinix Smart 8 in the comments. See you guys in the next one. Until then, keep following Gadgets360 for all things tech.